Yo, howdy gamers, and welcome to a short little single episode let's play of a fun little game I found here on Steam called Oxygen Not Included. What's cool about this is that we're going to be making a little video here for our thermodynamics class to look at how we're modeling a heat engine. So in this game, Oxygen Not Included, it's essentially a space colony that you have here. And you have a bunch of little colonists who you have to take care of. Um, these little ding-dongs. And so you have to do all sorts of different little things for them, like set up a nice habitat, give them oxygen, food. But most importantly, you need power. So, you can see right here, we have a little wire that's passing down underground here. We're going to go take a look at the engine that's running this little colony mine. So, if you go all the way down underground here, at the crust, deep under crust of this planet, we have lava, magma. This is a liquid at around 1,500 degrees Celsius. Now, you can see right here on the outside, we have much colder granite and other rocks that are at around only 27 degrees Celsius. So this is a pretty big uh, temperature differential we're, de we're dealing with here. And what this allows for is an engine to occur between those two uh, temperature points. Um, so right here you can see we have a system. Effectively, it's going like uh, like this, clockwise. And um, it's pretty simple to see what's happening. So you have basically a big steam chamber down here. There's water being inputted. Um, we'll get to where that's coming from in a sec. But effectively, it's hitting these metal tiles. Uh, that have copper underneath them, so acting like heat sinks into the magma here, transfer the heat, and to allow for this water to become steam. So this steam is around, you can see here, 400 uh, degrees Celsius. It drops down higher up in the engine, and then around here you get a nice input of around so right there, 330 degrees Celsius of steam. This is running our, uh, our steam turbine right here, you can see. So this steam turbine is running with that uh, differential in uh, heat and um, what's happening is that this turbine is producing work and so this is similar effectively to a Rankine cycle uh, where you can see right here you have a turbine that's producing um, work which is directly being converted to electricity so you can see right here on the left side we have just some uh, battery banks that are storing power from this turbine but more importantly it's also being moved off to the side here so off on this right path can go see now as we move to the right here where this uh, is going we have power and a water output so this turbine of course it's taking in that steam and it's outputting it as a very high uh, temperature water effectively still steam it's around 95 degrees celsius so maybe just condensing on its way over here through this pipe but so after it's passing through that turbine you can see right here it's coming on to our next area right here uh, this is supposed to be a colder chamber where we're dealing with uh, basically our condenser. So as you see in the Rankine cycle, right, you have a condenser, um, which also leads into a pump. The idea is right here, you have this water coming in and you need to cool down this water in your cycle. So right here, we have something called a thermo aqua tuner. And this is basically taking in water at around, see that 95 degrees Celsius, and it's cooling it down to output it at around 40 to 50 degrees Celsius instead. And so there's a mechanism inside of here uh, in this chamber with a sensor that can activate depending on if the water is too hot or too cold. That's being connected over by an automated system to the power signal. So effectively speaking, your turbine, you see right here, the power is going from that turbine and running over to the pump. Similar to the Rankine cycle, where you effectively have that turbine that can be uh, that work that's being resulted from it can be used to drive your pump as well. And so it's a similar concept to that. Now this aqua tuner, like we don't necessarily have a pump and a condenser as separate units here. The idea in this game really is that the aqua tuner is doing both processes. So it's condensing the water, making it cooler, as well as it is uh, pumping it along. And of course you can see right here, I'm gonna turn on the um, temperature reading in a sec, but you'll see how this this thermal aqua tuner does output heat. So anyways, otherwise, this water though, you see it passed along the system of radiant pipes, so as to maybe try to dissipate a little bit more heat throughout the, the, uh, the system here, and eventually it comes down to the bottom, where it is outputted, you see right here, 
The uh, water temperature is at 46 degrees Celsius. So it's definitely liquid at that point. And then it's finally outputted down back into the steam chamber where it uh, trickles down onto the metal tiles on the bottom here, which then will convert that water back into steam uh, from the magma and it'll continuously run this process to generate uh, electricity for our colonists. We're gonna look here just real quick at uh, the thermal readings. So let's go to temperature overlay. You can see right here how our system looks. So of course we have very high temperatures around our steam, which then are lowered by a fair bit. So at the point of here, we're in our uh, turbine block in our region here. We have te still high temperatures in the room, but they're more manageable around like uh, 45 degrees Celsius. And then you can see right here as that's moved across into our uh, cooling chamber, uh, around here, our uh, thermo aqua tuner. It outputs its heat actually into this little water bath that it's in. So it's game mechanics, but it does work well for the thermal output to control it. And then gradually, you can see right here, we have much cooler uh, piping of water compared to the input as it comes down along here, back to where it heads into the steam chamber. So uh, there you have it guys. I hope you learned a thing or two here about uh, how a Rankine cycle works. There's a ton of technical diagrams you can find online, but to me, it's a really fun game to build one in a game and to simulate things and uh, being able to mess around with how the shape of your chambers look, um, what's effective for getting the ideal temperatures and the most effective power cycles. So anyways, thank you very much guys for watching. And uh, I won't see y'all in the next one because this is only a one episode video. But uh, there you have it. Enjoy. Cheerio.